my name is Graham Saxberg. I am a champion of Students for Canada, and this is Canadians Talking to Canadians. I'm Gavin Rygate. Like Graham, I attend Dalhousie University. I study kinesiology. I'm from Oakville, Ontario. Change. I, uh, I wanted to be a part of the conversations that weren't being had in Nova Scotia and shine light on other perspectives in regards to Canadian resources. One of the big reasons I joined, at least you know from past experiences of being out east, um, a lot of people are uneducated on um, Canadian energy, so a lot of people need to change the way they think about oil and gas, at least out east. I'm a believer in it. Um, I don't have much connection other than you and my other four Albertan roommates whose family's jobs revolved around the Canadian energy sector. Not a whole lot, but having you guys tied up in um, Canadian resources and energy means a great deal to me. There wasn't a lot of conversations being had in school. We didn't hear about it, didn't learn much about it. We knew it was there and that's why you guys kind of opened my eyes to that a little bit. I think many, many more conversations need to be had to level the playing field with education in regards to this country's resources. I think the biggest thing you guys opened my eyes to is the economic impact that we import a lot of energy or resources from other countries when we have and could produce and could export our own. I feel like that's a big conversation that needs to be had. Why are we importing so much when we have resources and could export and could grow this country? And especially us um, living in Halifax for four years now, we see a lot of tankers coming in with foreign oil that isn't that kind of rattles me just because I'm from Alberta and I see it I'm like why why don't we just use our own oil instead of shipping in diesel and then you see it getting refined in Dartmouth and it just kind of sucks that uh, we're importing so much when we could be using our own stuff. It's difficult to like promote um, the oil and gas industry in Nova Scotia because a lot of people see it as these like large corporations that are ruining the environment and ruining the earth. It's because they, they want to save the earth and they've been fed all this misinformation in reality. Canada's oil and gas industry is one of the most environmentally friendly. Exactly. I don't think they realize Stack it up against uh, other countries that do the same kind of thing and it's totally different playing field. We're on a totally different playing field. They also don't realize how innovative the oil and gas industry is. Recently, there was a new innovation called Big Crude, where it transforms the bitumen into a brick, and you can put it in a pallet, you can put it in um, cargo containers on ships. It's also inflammable, so it doesn't light on fire. It also floats in water, so it doesn't sink. It's non-toxic to any marine life. Very, It's very new and safe method of transporting bitumen. SFC, man conversations need to be had the people need to be spoken to yeah i it think we need to, to have like a lot of events events and uh conversations like the ones we're having today on uh like what's your background what do you think of it how can i um, shed a new light on it for you there's so many jobs um that are created from oil and gas and i and people don't realize that right like either directly or indirectly for instance the offshore oil and gas that's in the east, uh, the east coast, like the Atlantic, that that one rig has 27,000 jobs, either directly or indirectly associated with it. So, if you're to take away that one thing, that's 25,000 people who've now lost a job. We need to push talking to people about it and showing, spreading awareness and spreading all these amazing facts for amazing things that the oil and gas industry can provide for people. It comes hand in hand with renewable energy. Renewable energy needs oil and gas. Oil and gas needs renew renewable energy as well. Very important that people start realizing this and so we can act accurately change politics that are happening in Canada or uh, social reforms and stuff like that. My name is Graham Saxberg. My name is Gavin Raggate. And, and I'm a student for Canada. Canada.